Hey everybody. Sorry if you can hear crunching in the background. My dogs are eating. But um, welcome to Diamond Painting with Tessa. I got a shipment in here today. I want to say that this is my Art and Soul uh, diamond painting that I ordered. Let me look for my scissors. My son was the last to use them. No idea where they're at. Okay. Back to the old trusty steak knife. So, anywho, I ordered a diamond painting from Art and Soul back on January 25th, and this just came in the mail today, February 17th. Um, so I am, um, thinking that this is it because Art and Soul Diamond Painting is a licensed diamond painting company, but their supplier is from China. Obviously this packaging looks like it came from China, so I'm thinking that's what this is. So let's pop it open and see, and if it is, um, this is taped very well. If it is my Art and Soul Diamond Painting, then it should be a beautiful elephant photo because I love elephants so let's see what comes in here shall we this is my first diamond painting from this company yeah this is it um, this is my first diamond painting from this company so I have no idea like how these things are typically packaged what the kit looks like so we'll just go over everything okay so as you can tell on the box it was all in a different language so um, as far as branding and whatnot, it doesn't say anywhere on there that it's from Art and Soul Diamonds. I got, okay, so it looks like you get an inventory sheet just printed out. And it is a beautiful stained glass image of an elephant. I can't wait to see how it's going to actually look. Looks like there are 57 colors. Uh, lots of information here on each color. Looks like we've got the serial number, the symbol, the DMC code, the original quantity, how much they actually gave you, the weight, and how many bags of each color you should have. Um, I will probably cut this to just be the symbol and the DMC and then run it through my Xeron sticker maker to make stickers. It is um, poured glue. And as far as these DMCs, there are some with a Z. I'm wondering if those are fairy dust like um, Diamond Art Club or no. Maybe maybe their Zs mark ABs. I'm not sure. We'll take a look. So let's unroll this canvas. I am going to roll it the opposite way to help it lay down. Oh, it looks like it's going to be really pretty though. This is a thick, really thick canvas. The edges are scalloped and poached, so no fraying. Um, it's thick, but it's not um, like that cheap Amazon kind of material. It is softer on the back, like um, almost like felt, almost feels like felt. Wait a minute, is that a sticker sheet? <gasps> you guys, it comes with a sticker sheet. Heck yes. Let's see what all comes in here. Okay, I'm gonna leave this rolled up for a moment and we're gonna go over what's in here. I'm sorry, I keep hitting the camera. So we do actually get a sticker sheet of all of our stickers. This whole thing is a sticker. Um, it does say Art and Soul on here. So it has some branding on the sticker sheet, a beautiful thumbnail and all of our stickers that's super exciting i will trim these down just to have the symbol in the dmc but i'm super excited to see uh individually pre-cut stickers for kitting up that is fantastic and it does come with a toolkit let's see what's inside i see some purple tweezers super excited about a fun color of tweezers we get a nice plastic ziploc Hang on, I'm crushing this canvas the way I'm leaning. Okay. You get these beautiful, they're almost like a periwinkle bluish purple. Very, very pokey, nice metal tweezers. So excited about that. A single placing pen with it looks like a three placer on the end. A tub of wax. It's got one, two, three pads of wax in here. And just remember on all the wax, there is 
a plastic layer on top of that wax that you have to peel back before pushing your pen into the wax. Otherwise, you'll get no wax in your pen. Some Ziploc baggies, not very many, but there are some. Ooh, another multi-placer. Looks like maybe um maybe a nine. And a Mosfa little boat tray. Nice. Okay, so we get a kit, we get a sticker sheet. I love these tweezers. They're such a cute color. I'm gonna put everything back in this bag for now. Uh, come on, get in there. There we go. My fingers don't want to work. Okay. And then these drills. Look at these drills. Such a long package of drills. Long and skinny. Um, it looks like they come pre-baggied. And they are marked with the serial number on them. And they, if so, if you like to work out of baggies, this technically comes kitted up. Uh, I don't like to work out of baggies, so I'll still kit it up. These are square drills, and just kind of glancing over them, they look like a decent quality. The backs look nice and flat, not hollowed out. The shape looks pretty uniform. And I'm kind of scanning. Yeah, I think that is fairy dust. So that yellow is a fairy dust i believe this blackish navy blue is a fairy dust um and there should be like a red fairy dust but i'm not seeing it off the rip and i don't know if i'll take these out of here because getting ziploc bags back into these is really hard and it looks like it's marked with f4058 which is F4058, and I'm assuming that is on the canvas as well. So let's take a look at the canvas. Move all this stuff out of the way. And let's see it. That is a beautiful image. Okay. That is so pretty. Look how good that looks. This is rendered really well. This is a 60 by 60 centimeter, I believe. It doesn't say it anywhere on the canvas that I can see, but it does say here, 65 by 65. So let's take a look at the canvas and what's on here because honestly, I've never ordered from here. So at the very top, you have their branding, art and soul. You have a legend on the top left and bottom right both facing the same way you have a thumbnail of the image with each legend the bottom here this is called an elephant artist is cheryl carpenter it is copyrighted and licensed oh it does say here 65 by 65 centimeters and there is the skew number which is what your drills are labeled as a thumbnail in the middle, you have another, uh, the Art and Soul logo. And down here, their email and website. So, like we already saw, this is a... I'm going to straighten this plastic out real quick. Okay, now that the plastic is on there smooth, let's take a look at this canvas. I think the rendering um, looks like it's beautiful. I'm looking... I see a lot of color blocking and a mix of confetti. So this may be hand rendered. I'm not 100% sure, but you can see this black background area is a lot of color blocking. No unnecessary confetti in those areas. The drill field looks really clear. So you can see the printing on it is very clear. There's a little group of symbols. So the printing is very clear. It does have little outlines for the square drills. Here's another printing where there's some symbols. It looks like they use a mixture of white printing on dark background and dark printing on light background, which I like, makes it easier to see the symbols as well. So I do believe that these Z, these three, um, drills that have a Z in front of their code here are fairy dust drills so we'll kind of take a look at where they go 
it looks like we have a pie symbol it's gonna be the red one let's look i don't have my glasses on okay so it's this one right here like a pie symbol that one so it looks like a couple little here a little cluster of them here everywhere you see that really bright like true red clusters those are going to be the fairy dust and then we have it's like a really dark navy blue fairy dust i don't know what you would call this symbol i'll probably call it a y with the lines <laughs> but looks like there's it's kind of sprinkled in this dark area like here and here um here's a little bit kind of sprinkled in this really dark blue area here throughout this area so anywhere like where it's really dark blue here kind of where it fades into that black a couple sprinkled in the edges of his eye here a little bit sprinkled in the dark blue of his trunk area coming down it's very, very finely sprinkled in. A little bit sprinkled in these areas up top here as well. And a little bit sprinkled in this little blue cluster up here. And then the last one is like a yellowish color. And it's like a circle with an arrow coming through it. These are symbols I've never seen before um a circle with an arrow coming through it i'm trying to see it for the first time and then once you catch it it's easier to find i am just looking 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 give me one moment aha so you can see in this light area of his forehead a few of them there so it's going to be sprinkled in here 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 all through this light patch this area a little bit through here a little bit through here some up in his ear a little bit under his eye so not a ton just kind of sprinkled in in the very um light pale yellow areas of the stained glass on his kind of majority on his forehead coming down his trunk a little bit and around this eye so yeah, that is where the specialty drills are going to go. It looks really pretty. It looks really, really pretty through the camera. It even looks pretty in person. I'm excited to work on this. Work on one from a new company and kind of see, um, you know, comparatively speaking, how I feel about it. See um, how it's going to look. My Jaded Gem Shop I'm saving for April. There is a Jaded... Uh, there's a event coming up in April. It's called Jada Jamboree 2024. So I'm saving my Jada Gem Shop for April. This is an elephant by Art and Soul Diamond Painting. Uh, if you would love to try it out, I will try to link their uh, website in the description. If I'm unable, their website is here at the bottom. It's just artandsouldiamonds.com. So go check them out. They have a ton of stained glass images that are so beautiful and different animals. The panda bear, I loved it too. Um, so yeah, go check them out for yourself and see if you like it. Just know that it took a while to get to me. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And um, I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a like, a little thumbs up for me. And uh, if you want to subscribe and hit that notification bell to see more videos uploaded, please feel free to do so. Bye, everyone.